Hello, hello. So I did a really, vid I did a quick video yesterday and actually my daughter's kindergarten teacher reached out to me because I'd been speaking about the fact that behind COVID was a spirit. And she sent me a really helpful YouTube video from this guy called Ken Fish. And he studies the Hebrew and he had gone to Psalm 91 verse six, uh, well, read the whole Psalm, but in the Hebrew. And when you drill down in the Hebrew, if you're using Logos, uh, this the like biblical software in the Hebrew, um, it actually refers to it as a as a demonic spirit. And actually, you'll also see that in the Passion Translation. The Passion Translation has been written by Brian Simmons, who is now a friend of mine. So I'm really excited about that. So I want to do a prayer. This is not one of those prayers where you go, oh, Lord, if it's in your will, please, could you? This is where we are taking and standing in the authority of Christ against the enemy. And I'm going to read this. If you want this, I can forward you the language of it. But I have, I know one person, one of my friends right now is in ICU. He's kind of, well, he's a friend at church. I don't have direct access to him. Um, and I have another friend who uh, her, her mother or father is in ICU. So, so basically this spirit is called Keteb. That's Q-E-T-E-B. And in the Hebrew, you can say that as either Keteb or Ketev. And, and this actually was, um, it's a spirit. It's a spirit behind every, it's a demonic entity. And it was behind every plague or pestilence that has, that has been in, on the earth, according to the Hebrew writers and the priests. So when you pray this, it is really important that they hear your voice. So whenever you're casting out spirits, you have to you don't do it kind of in your head. You have to speak it. So, and you have to do it with authority. So if you don't have authority, then no, you have to get somebody who has the authority of Jesus. And it doesn't mean you don't have the authority. It means that you don't, you're not, you're not walking in the authority. And that's something that I'm really passionate about is helping people understand that the authority they have in Christ Jesus to trample on serps, serpents and scorpions and snakes. That's what the authority that we've been given, that we can drink deadly poison and it won't harm us, that we can heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, um, cast out demons. Okay, so this, I'm just going to give you a little bit of his information and I'll put it up here. So it says, the person receiving the prayer must hear the sound of your voice hitting the ear. So if somebody's at ICU, you're going to call, you're going to have them the nurse put the phone by their ear because even if they're in a coma, or even if they're on a ventilator, the sound of your voice, it's the, it, you're speaking to the spirit. You are not speaking to them. You're speaking to the spirit that has overtaken um, and given them this sickness. And by the way, just so um, when Ken did this the first time on this prayer call, there were three people who had COVID and three people were instantly healed. Uh, one's fever went down immediately from 105. One had fluid on the lungs and the other one was like in the in the really bad, yucky part of COVID. And by that afternoon, he was cleaning out his his garage. So so prayer works. So um, and thank you so much, Susan, for sending me this. So that they must be able to hear your voice. You can do it through FaceTime, WhatsApp, whatever you need to do. Um, you can download the prayer. Um, it work, you have to walk, talk in the authority and walk in the authority of Jesus. You do not have to put hands on them. In fact, now when I'm, um, based on what I learned from Catholic Crick, because I've done so much street ministry, I now will not be touching people, especially when I'm praying for them to get delivered. But when you're then anointing them or filling them up with the Father's love um, and the anointing, that's when you can place your hand on them. That's my personal preference. Um, Okay, this is a prayer of deliverance. This is not a prayer. We are we are warring against the enemy right now. So this is, we, you are coming with the authority of Jesus. I'm going to reiterate this because this is not a, oh, dear Lord, if it's your will, please could you um, take COVID away? It, we're not doing that, okay? We are coming against the an, demonic forces of hell from the pit of hell, and we're speaking to Keteb. Um, so you have to be firm, and we come to assert the authority of the kingdom against you. Get out really firm, super important. You can actually say, get out, come out, or leave now. 
Now, when I was listening to this, because I, I did a seven day water fast, as some of you know, ended on Saturday night and I started getting a sore throat and my friend said, my past friend said, this is an attack. And I was like, yes, I know it is. And so anyway, we went through that. But when he prayed this prayer on YouTube, um, I actually, um, something did shift in me. So I had COVID about a year and a half ago and I know a lot of people have um, results from that. Like my, a lot of people lose hair after they've had COVID. So I don't actually know if he mentions hair in this, but I'm going to make sure my hair is covered too. But I did, I, I got definitely got like something released from me when he prayed. And so I'm going to pray this, send it to your loved ones. Okay. Get to the person, remind them that I am here right now to pray for you. Jesus is going to heal you. Jesus loves you. Jesus is ministering to you right now through me. Um, I come in the name of the king and the authority of the kingdom of God. This is not a spell. This is based on authority and faith in Jesus. We're going to do what Jesus did. We are going to rebuke Kateb by name. Um, so what we're going to say is Kateb, in the authority of Jesus Christ, the risen one, I command you to leave now. Get out, come out. The apostles used to say, come out. It doesn't really matter, but if you feel more comfortable saying get out, you can say that. You might need to say it more than once. Uh, it, there's a really good video that I po posted of Catherine Crick doing uh, deliverance over a guy who was in the music industry and she really had to stand her ground. Like you have to stand your ground against the enemy because they do not want to give up territory. They want to see total destruction. They want to see death, end game. That is the end game. So you have to use authority, but you don't need to say it like 20 times. Um, some people will start manifesting. That can be called coughing, shaking. Some people might fall down. Um, sometimes they might get tightness of chest. Um, um, and then what you want to do at that point is you switch from a deliverance prayer to a healing prayer. We're going to address the Father. Jesus said, whenever you pray, pray to the Father in my name. So um, it doesn't really matter. But then we're going to pray for the sinuses to open up. We're going to pray for brain frog to go. We're going to pray for headaches to go. Father, would you heal the sinuses, clear the brain fog, take away the headaches in the name of Jesus. Father, would you heal the throat and take away any damage done by Kateb? Will you heal the lungs? Some people's become lungs become like jelly, but others crystallize and harden. Pray for the lungs to become like normal tissue again, for all jelly and hardness to go away. Father, would you restore the lungs to become like normal tissue again, and for all jelly and hardness to go away? Um, and for lungs that are hard and crystallized, make them normal again. We want to pray for the stomach and intestines, um, the diarrhea, if there is any. Pray for the liver and kidneys. Father, we ask you to touch the liver and make it healthy and heal any effects in the kidney that COVID has tried to bring. Father, also please heal any body aches and pains. When a spirit is present, we won't get very far with healing until it's gone. That's why we have to pray for deliverance before healing prayer. Um, th so when there's no complications, it's pretty easy. Just stop and bless each body part and pray healing and then you're done. So I just wanted to share that because it was sent to me yesterday and this was right up my alley because we were talking about this yesterday or I was and the really interesting thing was I was so close to deleting that video because I I kind of went all over the place on where I was. I, the, the Lord's been doing so much and there's such an amazing story to tell. Um, so anyway, I'm really glad I didn't delete it. And I and, and there's so many people that are coming against, you know, struggling with COVID still 18 months later because, of course, we're being, you know, and we're not allowed to treat with the real treatment. But you know what? We can we can treat with the, with the blood of Jesus and command in the authority that we have. And if you want to learn more about authority, just go read Ephesians 1. It talks about how Jesus has uh, authority over every principality and power, um, every name that ever was and is and is to come. And it's all for the benefit of the church. So, so Ephesians 1 is a really great book on the authority. And so use this prayer, learn this prayer. If you want me to 
send you a copy of it. Just um, message me via Facebook Messenger and I will get that out to you. And if you wanna see the YouTube video, I'll post that in the comments as well. But you know, this is it guys. We, we just need to stand and, and walk in the authority that Jesus has given us, okay? Uh, we have total authority to rule and to reign on this earth. And, and that's why the enemy works so hard to get us oppressed as Christians, you know, wounded and rejected and in pride and in jealousy and hurt and self-pity and you name it, all of those things. And I'm telling you, I had all of those. I had all of those. And in this journey that I've been on in the last year and a half, um, where I was, you know, one, wanting for one thing to happen in my life, hi Ralph, um, what actually ended up happening was the Lord was just working deep in me. And it literally was like the matrix and going deep. It was like a rabbit hole. It's like, first, I want you to deal with bitterness and unforgiveness in this area of your life, Claire. Now I want you to deal with words that you've said. And, and when you've when you've said negative words about, you know, yourself or about, you know, your your business, like or, or about. You, and I know this because I used to have plantar fasciitis and the Lord said, change your curse and you'll be healed. Let plain change your words because I was speaking a curse over my foot when I said I have plantar fasciitis. No, I don't. And so when we say every single day, I have X, Y, Z sickness, guess what? It, it's like we are focusing on it and we are speaking death over our bodies. So anyway, the Lord has delivered me from all of that, but it is really important about what we say, whether we have um, life or death is coming out of our tongues. And I repent because I can tell you that when most of the Facebook lives that I have done on here for the last ever since there's been Facebook, let's just face it, guys, I was a wounded, heart-wounded individual. P people pleasing, wanting so much more, striving, wanting to help people, wanting to show people the love of God, but communicating in a way where it was coming across as prideful or judgmental, and that was not my heart. And the Lord started something in me a year, about a year ago. It wasn't a year ago, it was in the summer. And Pastor Manuel came up and he said, Claire, and he didn't know me. He said, the Lord's going to use you to heal the brokenhearted. And then he said, but there's a massive wound in your heart and he wants to heal you first. And I'm crying because of the work that the Lord's done. Because at the time I was so prideful and I thought, oh, I dealt with my father wound like when I was 15. And I was afterwards. I was like, Manuel, do you do you think you're referring to the father wound? And and then he started sharing about his father, and I just started weeping. And ever since then, the Lord's had me on this journey, and He's been peeling away the layers of this onion so that I can get to the real heart and to what really matters. And that's why now I know that you know. I'm, I'm called to preach. I'm called to preach the gospel. That religious spirit that says women can't preach, women can't teach. No, you can't have women in church preaching. Like that was a religious spirit that's been broken off. I know my one of my dream boards has that I want to mil win a million souls before I die. I've got a really long way to catch up, but I know God can do it instantly. So anyway, oh, this was supposed to be quick. <sighs> So anyway, just get healed, but use this prayer. Uh, anyone that you know that has COVID, um, I, what I'm probably going to do is a really quick either, it's probably going to have to be on TikTok because that will give me three minutes, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do this prayer just directly on TikTok and then I will put it in the comments so um, people can just send out the prayer. So I will, I'll just do that as well. Okay. Um, Bless you guys, um, Ralph, hope you're doing well. And just so you know, yeah, behind every sickness is, is there's, a, there's a demon. It's, I'm just gonna say it. I know when that doctor said that last year on America's Frontline daughter, Doctors, they were like, oh my goodness, she believes in demons and they completely mocked her. But you know what? Um, 
Praise God that you have no signs. Um, and and um, just rebuke that. Um, you need to rebuke the spirit of Kateb right now. Uh, I just decree and declare over Ralph right now that that um, the spirit of Kateb, we just call you out right now. Come out right now. Uh, even though there are no signs right now, uh, do not do not um, attach yourself in any way to Ralph. And I just command any other spirit. Whoa, the spirit of Africa. Um, uh, affliction right now. I come against. I uh, come against that in you, Ralph, because I know that you've um you've had some some pain going on and some issues. So so Father, just thank you that you bring your healing and that you are so good and you wanna um no symptoms. Yeah. Thank you that you wanna bring us into freedom. So anyway, there it is, folks. Have a great day and um yeah, let's let's slay this Goliath. Okay, take care. God bless.